All right, y'all, I'm back with another one. Today we're gonna do my version of some chicken Alfredo. I think it's absolutely delicious. We're gonna run down through a list on exactly what you're gonna need. I know it's quite a few things here. Don't let it intimidate you. It's a good meal. It's really easy to do. Let's get started. All right, y'all, so before we do anything, go ahead and get you some water boiling up so we can have our pasta ready. Meanwhile, while that water's boiling, we're gonna get to the table and get this chicken prepped up. All right, y'all, so I got four nice chicken breasts. They're kind of fat, so go ahead and get your fat off of them, all right? For the majority of it, okay? Not every bit, but just what you can, okay? And then what we wanna do, y'all, is cut these suckers right down in the middle. We don't want them too thick. So look, y'all, that's about what we're looking for, about that thickness right there, okay? That's perfect, that's beautiful. So all right, y'all, now you're gonna go ahead on and get that Cajun seasoning out, okay? And hit up both sides, all right? Everything about New Orleans and Louisiana, y'all, well, I'm close to New Orleans, I've been there all my life. It's all about the flavor, okay? And it's gotta pack a lot of flavor. I don't so much care for salt, but it's got to have a lot of flavor, okay? So get heavy on that seasoning, don't be scared, okay? On both sides. With some black pepper, y'all, not too heavy, because if you already have some Cajun seasoning, you know it's going to come with a little kick. So you don't need too much of it, y'all, but definitely do both sides, all right? All right, y'all, now we're going with parsley, all right? Don't be scared to use a little parsley now. And of course, you already know, both sides. It's real good, gives it a wonderful flavor. So definitely don't want to leave this one out, okay? Got to have this. Now you're going to do what you can with what you got, y'all. This, this is what I'm working with. This is how much garlic I use, so we're going to roll with it, okay? Garlic powder, both sides. Sometimes you just got to make do with what you got, okay? And unfortunately, I ain't got no small ones, so we're going to roll with the big one. And I know, don't look so professional and all that. They're like the other channels, but I guarantee you one thing. You try this recipe, you're going to love it. Ain't gonna be no food left, okay? So it might not be fancy, but it's some good cooking. All right, y'all, so now the chicken's looking beautiful. It's time to go to the stove, so let's go. Now go ahead, y'all, and just add a little bit of oil on that there pan to get it all coated at the bottom, not too much. And now go ahead on and throw a tablespoon of butter in now. Now go ahead and leave your skillet on, y'all, with that butter in there and that oil on there. Let it heat up, okay, for a good three minutes before we put that chicken down. Now go ahead on, y'all. Get your chicken all up in that skillet. Let it start cooking up, okay? The water over here is starting to boil a little bit, so things are looking good. And I'm going to tell you what, you try this recipe, and I guarantee you the family's going to love it. I can tell you that much. All right, so now this one I like to go ahead on and add that W sauce in there. Not too much. You ain't got to get carried away, but just like so. All right, y'all, so the water then came to a bowl. So just go ahead and follow the rules on your pasta, whatever the box tells you to do. Go ahead and go with it. Just don't break them in half or nothing, okay? What you could do is just put them in like that. Look, let them lean there for a second, okay? And then, in like a 30 seconds or so, just push them down being careful, and they're going to go right on down in that pot for you, like, just like that, that fast, okay? All right, y'all, now look. I like to cook my chicken like this about five minutes on each side. And I find it to be pretty done. Just make sure it's done on yours, you know. Yours might be thicker or whatever have you. Or thinner for that matter. But like these, these sides right here, y'all, about five minutes on each side. I'm good. I'm, I'm enjoying it. And the chicken's still moist, which is what we're looking for, okay? We don't want no dried up raggedy chicken. So now we need to take the chicken off and let it rest. Check it out. This is what it looks like, y'all. So go with that skillet with the, with the chicken drippings in there. Go with a quarter of a cup of chicken broth, okay? Now go ahead on and get them chicken drippings, y'all, with that chicken broth all mixed in together, okay? Now y'all go ahead and add one cup of heavy whipping cream, okay? All right, y'all go ahead on in with two tablespoons of minced garlic, okay? It's gonna give it a lot of good flavor there. And then mix that all about. Go ahead in, y'all, with the one cup of Parmesan cheese, okay? Have your fire on the low because we don't want this sauce to get too thick just yet, okay? So keep that in mind. Go ahead and add in some parsley. 
I'll go ahead with your hot sauce, maybe a few drops, like half a teaspoon or so, not too much, and let's get it in there and mix it up. Simmering, noodles are done. Let's cut this chicken. And what we're gonna do is, not in too big, not in too small a piece, something just like that, okay? We're gonna place that right over the top. Well, that's tender and juicy too, let me tell you. It's absolutely delicious, y'all. Just like that is what we're looking for. Do that to your chickens. All right, y'all, so the food's done. Check it out. I would recommend tossing your pasta in your sauce. It just works out better, but y'all look at this. The family's gonna absolutely love it when you make it.